The U.S. women's national team has arrived at the annual Algarve Cup here on the southern coast of Portugal, and will have a week to get acclimated to the time change and prepare for its first match against Japan on March 5th. U.S. head coach Tom Sermani has called up 24 players for this tournament, but only 22 are currently in camp, as midfielder Tobin Heath and forward Sarah Hagen will arrive from France and Germany, respectively, on March 2nd. We talked to Sermani about once again having numerous options to fill out his starting 11. Extreme competition uh, for sports in the team, and, and that's been brought about by the form of players. You know, we've had players that have come into this team um, and have done exceptionally well. They've either scored goals or they've had, you know, outstanding performances, and that's made selection quite difficult and it's made the competition in the squad quite intense. Our aim coming into the tournament is to try and win it and with that in mind then we'll be looking at selections with the view in mind of trying to win games not necessarily utilising all of the players that we have. While forward Alex Morgan is not in camp as she finishes up rehab from her ankle injury, Sermani does have five forwards to choose from, several of whom have been among the top scorers in the world's top three leagues in Sweden, Germany and the NWSL. And you've got, um, you know, what we call probably the, the, the mobile ones, you know, A-Rod, um, Chris and Press, uh, it's Sid. And then we've got more of the target strikers in, in Sarah Hagen and, and Abby. Uh, and probably Sid gives us a little bit of mix of both. So, so each in their own way brings, um, you know, a, a certain degree of difference or a certain point of difference. But I think the, the thing that they all bring is the ability to score goals. And, uh, and, and that's a, a great asset to have because, you know, in a lot of teams, you might have two players that, that score goals or you might only have one striker that scores predominantly the number of goals that they score and one that supplies them. We just happen to be very fortunate that we have strikers who bring different things to the team but also score goals. I think it's, you know, over the next few days before the tournament starts, having a look at the ones that are in form, having a look at the ones that you know, look like they're, you know, at this point in time, ready to go and, and what will be our most effective partnership. As part of the 24-player roster, Samani has once again called up several young players, including three players with college eligibility remaining in midfielder Morgan Bryan from Virginia and Samantha Mewis and Sarah Killian from UCLA. For Killian, this is our first call-up to the senior side. Well, they've got a chance. I mean, obviously, we saw Morgan Bryan last year, and she walked into the team and looked like... She had been a, a veteran almost, so, um, and it could be that Sarah does the same in this tournament. But I think it's always good to re refresh the squad and to give opportunities to players. Uh, at the same time, you know, we've been in a situation for most of, probably almost a year now, where we've had significant numbers unavailable for selection, you know, due to injury or other reasons. You know, and if you look at this squad, obviously Shannon Box is still out, LaPelbit's still out, uh, Crystal Dunn is out. Lauren Holiday's out, Alex Morgan is out, Yel Averbuch is out. So that's six players who are all contracted players who are not available. So that's another factor that uh, gives us and gives me the opportunity to bring in some of these younger players to see how they go. The U.S. women will play Japan, Sweden and Denmark in group play here at the Algarve Cup. You can follow all the matches on Twitter at Soccer underscore WNT and see all the highlights on USSoccer.com. From the Algarve Cup, that's it for this edition of Studio 90.